Well, hi guys, it's Brandon Ayers from the Corning Service at Wheels Eye Hospital and Ophthalmic Partners of Pennsylvania. And today I wanted to talk about topical anesthesia during cataract surgery, something we don't think of all that much. And traditionally we've used topical lidocaine and intracameral lidocaine. But recently we've been using IHESO, which is 3% chloroprocaine gel. And they say it's about 75% less viscous than your typical lidocaine gels. It is FDA approved for use with anterior segment surgery, especially if your surgery takes you know 20 minutes or 25 minutes or less. So what I thought would be neat was to have you come with me and we'll go see a patient. Um, we'll put the gel on, I'll show you how we use it. We'll even show the, the surgical video and, and um, see what we think about topical IHESO. All right, I'll see you in a bit. Good morning. Hey. How are you? All right. I got a question for you. Yeah. This is a weird one. So we use a, a numbing drop called IHESO. Mm -hmm. And uh, they, I, I do a lot of like videos for surgery. People wanted to see how we use numbing drops. I was oh, wondering yeah. if, if you'd be okay if I just record yeah. us putting some drops in your eyes. Sure. And, you know, it just seems silly. Nobody will know who you are. It's just a... I don't care. But uh, you know, something that I do kind of want to know is how this stuff feels. It numbs great. It'll keep you comfortable for the surgery. But um, I'm going to put it on. It's kind of like a, a gooey gel. Pupil looks great. And there's the first drop. Yeah, blink a couple times. And uh, I, mean, I know it's kind of um, syrupy, but any burn or sting or anything with that? No. No? Great. Good. Okay, good. We're on our way to get into the operating room. Let's get going. <laughs> I love that stuff, I can tell you right now. That stuff? I, yeah, you know, yeah. Hey, I love that stuff. Yep. You never need a lidocaine, it's better than that. It's fantastic. Yeah. Cool thing is the IHESO can be recapped so we can take the cap off. Ready to go. All right, I'm going to give you that second drop. All right. There's number two. I'm going to put the IHESO back in its box. So while we're getting scrubbed, the patient's getting prepped and draped, and then I'll put the last bit of IHESO on right before the okay, surgery. Okay, why don't we go ahead and uh, put the rest of the IHESO on. Pop it off. Yep. And then just squeeze the rest right on the eye. Awesome. That's, that's fine. That's it. Yep, we can move it around. All right, I'll take it. So one of the things I like about IHESO is that it is a little bit on the thick side. And so once it goes on, it not only numbs the eye, but we can sort of spread it around the ocular surface. And it really reduces the number of times I have to use uh, BSS. So it kind of works almost like a, like OcuCoat or cornea coat to prevent us having to moisturize the cornea. Right eye. Right eye. Right eye. All right, just keep looking up to my light for me, okay? What time you got, babe? So we'll just use these. All right, you follow me down there? Your job is just to look at those lights, okay? It's like there's three lights? Yeah, there's three lights. You just kind of look in the middle. You shouldn't have any discomfort. And if you do, I want you to tell me. Uh, you'll see the lights moving around, though, and it, it's a little strange, but just kind of enjoy the ride. I'll take the care of Yeah. And for this case in particular, we made sure that we didn't use any propericane or anything in the pre-op area, just a drop of IHESO. And I intentionally did not use any intracameral lidocaine. Uh, I just wanted to see how well the IHESO worked topically with nothing else going in or on the eye. Okay, I'll take the Utrata. Now, in the FDA studies, patients rated their pain right before the first incision, which would have been my paracentesis, at the end of the capsulorexis, at the end of phaco emulsification, and again, just before IOL insertion. So I wanted to check with my patient as well to see how she was doing during the surgery. You'll hear some noises and you might feel a little water for a few minutes, okay? Yeah. Still doing okay down there? Yeah, it's interesting. Excellent. Yeah, it's weird, right? It's a, it's a wild ride sometimes. But everything's going just great. Now they say that the uh, onset of action for IHESO is pretty quick, usually within 90 seconds. So I give that first drop of IHESO in the pre-op area, the second drop just like you saw as soon as we get into the operating room, and then just the rest of the IHESO just before the surgery. All right, we're just getting the last little bits of the cataract out and then we'll get our implant in, okay? You're doing great so far. 
So here we are in cortical cleanup in just a few minutes from being ready to place the implant. And remember, placement of the implant was the fourth time point that patients assessed their pain in the FDA study. Now, I didn't directly ask my patient about her pain as we started to implant the IOL. However, at this point, somebody in the operating room recognized that I had socks with pictures of chickens on them. Uh, and the patient was so interested in the fact that uh, I raised chickens that all she wanted to talk about was my chickens, clearly not having any issue with pain or discomfort from her cataract surgery. All right, a lot of water for another couple seconds here. Mm -hmm. Did you say you have chickens? I do have chickens, <laughs> yeah. I've got four of them. Dumpling, Raven, Scuttle, and, and uh, Hayward. Hayward's a hen, even though it doesn't sound like a, doesn't sound like a hen's name. <laughs> all right, we're just sealing up our incisions, and you've made it all the way to the end of your surgery. No, I'm not kidding. So, any discomfort down there? No, it's no? just nice and watery. Yeah, yeah, there's lots of water. That's great. You did wonderfully. Awesome. We are all done. There you go. All right, guys, so there you have it. We used topical IHESO or 3% chloroprocaine gel for that case. Went very well. The patient was very comfortable. Uh, we didn't have to use anything non FDA approved and no compounded products in this case. So that's how I've been using IHESO. Works well for me. Maybe uh, you can take some of what we did here and apply it to your own patients. It's up to you. Thanks for watching.